Now, one of the things that you will find, uh, which is quite interesting, this piston right here is a 1918 igniter model. This one is a later model igniter model. The, the difference is, is the wrist pin that goes in this piston, this wrist pin, and the wrist pin that goes in this piston, are, they're different. The pistons are different. You, you, will, you will find three, you will find three different kinds of pistons. The other one being this spark plug model. And the difference between the two are this one is bigger and it only has three rings. All of the igniter models will have four rings. And there's just no excuse, there is no valid reason to leave one of these rings off. There is no advantage to be gained in that. The, uh, um, uh, I'm just going to leave that with that. That's enough. That's all I'm going to say about four rings compared to three. Even the, the three ring, some mechanics elects to leave one of those rings off. Uh, I never understand. Uh, I, there is no valid argument for that. For that. The difference between these two pistons, the 1918, is this, this bolt that goes into the wrist pin, it's not threaded in there. It's got a little, 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 little stick out on it, and the threaded part is in the piston. The piston in there is threaded, and and you would you would put the wrist pin in there. This would protrude down through that, and then you would put the cotter in there and spread it apart. That would secure that would secure that wrist pin to that piston. This one, the later model igniter uses this type locking mechanism and the the wrist pin is is threaded on it and the piston is not that's open in there so you'd put the wrist pin in there just thread this down in there until it bottoms out all the way to the bottom down there and and then up in the piston here you would put an unplated cotter in here in the cross hole so that it will not valid it around. This one does have a lock washer on it and then you would spread this apart to secure it. That's the two differences in the wrist pins. You can use this one on this one or this one on this one but you can't put this wrist pin here and you can't put this wrist pin here. The um, and the spark plug model uh, uses this type wrist pin uh, anchoring system, which would be, which would be if uh, uh, this would be a a wrist pin for the spark plug model, and it would be the same way, just secure it the same way. And and uh, the difference is in here. And, and one of the one of one of the questions was about the flywheels. Uh, do if you use a flywheel that came off of a parts engine on another engine, do you have to balance the flywheel? And and you know I, I have not found any information as to how International did that at the factory. The um, uh, just kind of a little observance that I have made uh, testing flywheels for cracks and observing the different characteristics of the engines running through the years and uh, just looking at the holes that the balancing holes that are drilled into the flywheel and they will be drilled at a different depth in, in there as to how much material they, how much metal to remove for the amount of balance that that flywheel needed. And I tend to think that the flywheels are balanced individually. 
I may be wrong, leave a comment. One of the reasons that I that I assume that is nowhere else on that whole engine on I have never seen a balancing, you know, there's the pistons are not balanced just as cast and as machined. There, there's no balancing marks anywhere even on the crankshaft. There's just no balancing in anywhere on, on, on these engines can you find any balancing other than the flywheels so i assumed and but they were low they were low speed engines uh that's another thing about the oils for these engines uh the, you know basically you know 600 rpm 650 you know that's that's about what these engines run and most most of the owners tends to run an engine slower which is in my opinion the correct way to do it no need to overrun an engine for no reason the um uh but that with that said one of the reasons that i that i and the oils uh you need a different grade of oil a different type of oil for a slow cold running engine as compared to a high speed hot running engine the oil is, is just not interchanged it don't take a rocket science to know that uh, the reason about the balance on these and if you run these engines at a higher speed they do tend to be out of balance uh, I, that is that's true uh, one and another thing is the wrist pins if you compare these right there is four examples of wrist pins that was in a well that's let's take that one out of the equation there's four examples that was in a igniter engine now, these three are factory this um, this one is a solid wrist pin a uh, center hole drilled here and there was a center hole here but they they drilled a slot in there so that when you when you screw this in here and it bottoms out on there you actually can spread that apart a little bit to lock it in position this one has a hole drilled all the way through it which if you screw that in there they would probably be a little direction deflection as compared to a solid one but it does have the hole all the way through so so it just here in hand you can tell that they're different weights uh this one has a deeper hole here a larger hole here and a wider gap so it would have a different weight than all of these three this one this this wrist pin right here is out of a late model automobile 